wish I was in Hawaii right now. This is, this'll do. <laughs> all right, we've been traveling all day, but we're finally here. We're in our rental house on the island of Kauai, just across from the beach. We've got so much planned, but it's late. I gotta get the kids to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning guys and welcome to the island of Kauai. We got here at the rental property about midnight last night and we woke up to the serenading sounds of rooster crows. Apparently, feral chickens are all over the island of Kauai and this rental property is no exception. And the boys have been so excited to see all of the chickens running around. They woke me up this morning. Yeah. Guess what? Here, they're interrupting chickens. Yeah. That's like one of six of them that woke us up this morning. <laughs> There's another one down there. They're gonna fight. Oh, they're fighting already. I think the boys are gonna learn what cockfighting is here in a second. Uh oh, chickens! <laughs> chickens. Look at that scenery. This is beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to get some breakfast at the Kilauea Bakery and Pizza Shop. They have some amazing looking pastries. Let's do a, a one of these, one of these. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Oh, check this out. We've got an almond paste bear claw. We've got a passion fruit Danish, a mixed berry Danish, a mango Danish another mixed berry danish, a bacon apple twist, and we got some sort of bacon, egg, and cheese pastry pocket thing. This looks amazing, and I'm gonna put links to the Kilauea Bakery, this rental property, and any other fun activity or fun place we go, I'm gonna try to put information about it in the video description so you guys can do this as well if you're ever on the island of Kauai. These are breakfast strombolis. This is the sausage, egg, and hash brown one. The veggie breakfast stromboli. Oh, oh it's so good. Good morning, babe. Mama. That's good, isn't it? It's good. Our bacon cinnamon twist is so good. All right, we got purple sweet potato danish. Oh, the cream cheese has coconut in it. No, come on, we get one. Almond paste oh, bear claw. Yeah. I might try this little mango thing right here then. You do it, Luke. I want it. Yeah, coconut mango. Oh, that's good. If you think everything tastes better with mango flavoring, you might like Hawaii. Th this th this oh. one, this one's oh amazing. Oh, That's so amazing. So good. <laughs> this is so good. <sighs> well, listen, now that we've got that amazing breakfast out of the way, let me give you a little tour of this rental property. It's amazing. Check out this front room. Oh my goodness, awesome kitchen area. There's another lanai in the backyard, a little bit more private. There's a second smaller house on the property, but no one seems to be in there, so not too bad. And check out this master bathroom. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and look at the size of that jacuzzi tub. I could swim laps at that thing. But the only thing cooler than the bathroom is the location. There's the rental property. There's the beach. Oh my goodness. Look at this.
Guys, this is why we come to Kauai. Oahu and Maui, wonderful places, but finding a rental property like this, this close to the beach, would be so expensive. Here in Kauai, it's not exactly cheap, but it's doable. If you wanna to come to Hawaii and you don't like crowds and you're on a budget, definitely check out Kauai and the Big Island of Hawaii. Those are the two best places to go. I love you. Yeah, look at you. I cannot tell you how excited I am to go spear fishing and snorkeling. I brought all my gear. I gotta get it out. Water's a little chilly, but not bad. Now my gun hurts all this Well, I've had a good time snorkeling with Tom and Nate, but it's starting to rain pretty serious and the boys want to go inside. So I'm going to grab my spear and uh, just go out and explore a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did that. Those turtles were huge, it was so cool. But uh, I think we should go inside and get dry and warmed up. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. You like it snorkeling in there? Yeah, it's a jacuzzi, it's belly rolling. You ready to go get some lunch? Yeah. Woo! Hey, Jacob. Jacob, wait, why don't you have your shoes on? Get in the car. I'm a gun, <sighs> I have a gun. We're gonna go get some lunch and explore the island and this place is gorgeous. Also, it is infested with feral chickens. We gotta do a chicken count. Okay, so oh, I see a chicken. There was about two. six over there. Six two. over there. Nine, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine chickens. Ten. There's zero, fifteen. Fifteen. 15. Okay, look, look at the right. The right. Seven, There's two more. Seventeen. Seventeen. 18. Okay. I didn't see him. <laughs> Oh, there's I'm one! Coming, it was crossing the road! The chicken was crossing the road! Oh my god, right there! There's there! There's 23! 23. 24! 24! Oh, 27! 28! Oh, over there! Look over there! All right guys, we just did about a 15 minute drive and we saw 62 chickens in 15 minutes. Oh, I saw one on the round wing. All right, we're gonna try chicken in a barrel barbecue here. Um, what do you recommend? What's your, what's your like awesome go-to stuff? I think that's the kids stuff. There's some macaroni salad, Hawaiian coleslaw. Mm. I've had it. The chicken at the table. There's literally a chicken just walked into a chicken barbecue restaurant. Where is it? I know where they get their supply chicken. It's a nice dry rub. Look. All right, we got lunch out of the way and we're here in Hanalei on the island of Kauai. So we are gonna drive around a little bit and see what there is to see and check out a few beaches. A pig. There's two feral pigs.
you know, it's our first full day here in Kauai, so we're just going around and checking out all the different beaches and seeing what there is to see. It's a nice low-key way to get adjusted. And someone recommended we check out this beach, so we're gonna go on a little walk down here. What do you think? Cool stuff, bud? Watch out, David! Over by the shoes, grab your shoes. Well, there's a cool little beach, but we're just checking things out today. So we're gonna keep moving, keep exploring. Don't put that up there. Oh. That's Hold on, I see a box of breadfruit on the side of the road here. Let's, let's check this out. Anyone got a dollar on them? I do. Check it out, guys. These are breadfruit. Ooh, that one feels good. Okay, there's the dollar. There's a breadfruit. Hey, yeah, baby. Chicken up! There's so many chickens! <laughs> well, we got about an hour and a half of sunlight left and I just want to get out in the water some more. Got to test out some gear and just have some fun. I mean, we got a rental house on the beach. Got to do it, right? Nathan, do you have fun? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're very cold. cold. Very cold? All right, let's get you warmed up. Let's go get some food. All that swimming around worked up an appetite. Should we go get some dinner? Alright guys, we grabbed some takeout from the Kilauea fish market here and uh, it smells delicious. I got the teriyaki chicken with the potato salad and rice. Melly, you got uh, what's Ahi it? wrap. Ahi wrap. Alright, I got the ahi burrito or yellowfin tuna. We're gonna give this a... Oh, it's so greasy. That thing is... Oh, that is quite the burrito. That looks like General Grievous' bag of guts. Ooh, general green stuff. Mm. Hey Jacob, do you like your food? Yeah. That was nice, that's good. Well guys, it has been an awesome first day here in Hawaii. I've got a belly full of tuna burrito and we've got to go to bed because I am exhausted. But tomorrow we're starting this party properly. We've got a, a charter plan and it's gonna be pretty awesome. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I'm back from the grocery store, but I had strict instructions to go by that bakery and get more pastries. Hey. There you go, oh, Becca. I love it. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. Bagel thing. Oh, there's the Lilikoi lemon bar, sweet potato mochi, <gasps> coconut mango muffin, oh my goodness. a mango Yay. scone. And I got a little sweet potato pie. Oh yeah, these are like a mango cheesecake or something. Oh, that's so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's good as well. Hey Jacob, did you like the coconut muffin? Yeah! I'm gonna have the same thing next next time. It's delicious. The boys. Well guys, are you ready to go fishing and whale watching? Yay! Yes! We got about a 45 minute drive to our charter, so we're playing a game where to see who can spot the most chickens. We got team dad and team mom here. Chickens. There's a rooster! Rooster! Oh, five, five to three, we're waiting! 
Oh, 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 panic. Don't drive. Look for chickens. <laughs> oh, there's another one just walked out. 25. 31. 32. 33. 34. 34. Dang it. In case of a tiebreaker, goats and rats count. We're about to get work. 55. What was our chicken totals? 106. Uh, and what? 102. 106 and 102. Man, they beat us. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here with the La Hela Sport Fishing and the Nawili Willy Boat Harbor. And we are gonna go out and do some fishing and whale watching. It's a great little combo tour, so everyone in the family gets to do something fun. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. Oh guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. And the wonderful thing about Hawaii is you don't have to go far from the port to get into some good fishing. You know, you're going 15 minutes out or five minutes out, not an hour or two. It makes things a lot more affordable and it gives you more time to fish. All right, we got some Hawaiian snacks. You like, you like Linghi Mui? Linghi Mui dried mango slices. Oh, that's a good stuff. Is there anything you don't put Ling Himui on? Like that. Yeah. Uh, flavor. We're just looking for a little fishing spot and there's a humpback whale over there. Are we just fishing for bait here or anything? Uh, so he's gonna come down for bait, but we're gonna drop these down and see if we can catch anything at the bottom. All right, we're, we're what, about 140 feet or something? Or? Trigger fish yeah. over here. Yeah. First fish of the trip. Oh, Tommy. I think I got a lizard fish. I gotta hold him close to the camera. Hold on, let me get him on. Yeah, he's on, Tom. All right, Tom. I think that's the one. Oh, nice little mackerel over here. I think, we, I think this might be some mackerel. Triple! Tommy's coming through with the bait! There you go, man. Oh, beautiful bait fish right there. Did a nice little drift, caught some mackerel. We're gonna reposition the boat. We're gonna try some more. I dare you to see. None of that meat was Oh, look at these, Tom. Snappers, aka the Hoppies. Those are uh, invasive, right? Yes, they are. There you go. A little trigger family. Trigger. Yeah, we'll take the big one, yeah. Oh, All right, guys, we got a trigger fish here. And they call them trigger fish because it's a little spine will lay down this little groove here and then it flips up when it feels threatened. They would go in holes and flip that little trigger up so that a predator can't pull them out. And they've got a little horn down here too. It's a way to wedge themselves in the rocks. And they've got really sharp little beak-like teeth. They'll take a piece out of your finger real easy. But they taste good. So we're gonna keep this one. All right, babes, come on in. Okay. <laughs> it's a trigger fish. Yeah, that's a nice size one. Woohoo! Alright, caught a couple fish, gonna move spots, try again. Jake and Nate are out. They are just out. Look at that. Alright, we're gonna try the guava butter here. Oh. Becca, you wanna try a bite it with guava butter? I do. Well, that's good. Okay, yeah, I'm so good to go. Mmm. Warm. Melanie hasn't had a chance yet. Here, that's still on there. Oh, look at that! You got a, you got a little um, little slat snapper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, we are trigger fish kings today. Hey, look who woke up! There's some more whales. We've now seen three. 
I wish I could show you, but the GoPro is terrible at seeing things far away. Right there, see ya? Yeah, I'm daddy like you come over here to my so we got a big rod with one of those mackerel on it down here And we're just kind of jigging a little bit and see if we can't catch a big predator like a gray snapper or an uku uh, A GT or giant trevally also called an ulua um, We might see an amberjack all sorts of fun things That's a big fish. I think you might have the big fish Jake Is a big trigger fish. Look at the teeth on that thing. <laughs> uh, Monocali, right? Monocali? Believe it. It's a goat fish? Alright, Nate. Oh, -ho! you are just trigger happy. Hey guys, uh, oh, that's one. Yeah, first snapper. Well, there we go. That's another beautiful fish. Woo! Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. Look at that, Jake. A snapple. Throw him right in there. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, you your mouth. Yeah. Whale just jumped crazy high out of the water. Oh, oh there he is. This is something I really wanted to do. There's a lot of fishing charters here in Kauai and a lot of people go out for tuna and things out in the blue water. But this is one of only two charters I could find that would take you reef fishing for native Hawaiian species, which is what I really wanted to do. And uh, we just had a ball. It's a really easy, short fishing trip you could do with the family and the kids have a good time. I'll put information in the video description below if you want to do this too. We're on the way back to the harbor. We can see another whale. They're just all over right in here. In Maui, uh, kid. They got their life. That is a nice trigger fish, Jake. Cody, thank you very much, man. It was a we pleasure. had a great time. We had a great time. I think I better get going, though. I just saw my boy jump in the water over there. Yeah. Jacob, out of the water. I saw that. Yeah, you jumped right in. Oh. So we had a great time by the charter. We made it back to the rental house. Unfortunately, this family looks like a bunch of done lobsters. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for Tommy. I put tons of sunscreen on his face. Nothing, my face is burned. Here, take your head. Oh. Well, we've just been kind of sitting here relaxing this afternoon, but the boys want to do something, so we're going to go outside with our flashlights and see what creatures we can find out here in this jungle around the house. I got a wizard, Daddy. Oh, look at that. Just He's so peed on you. I got a toad, Mom. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got one. Look at the size I of got these things. One, Daddy. Look, look, I have two toads, too. <laughs> I have the biggest and the smallest. Always oh, peeing on me. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 look. He's just, they, oh, he tried, he's peeing all over. Oh, it's been a fun day, but we are exhausted. You guys tired? Yeah. 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 I'm going to put up this camera. And I'm going to see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning when the rooster crows. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. We woke up to the sounds of roosters on this beautiful Sunday morning. And uh, we're just going to kind of take it easy, get the kids fed, and uh, go to church. Guys, did you have fun at church? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I got a lollipop. Nice. I got a lollipop. You got a I got lollipop? Chocolate. Chocolate? I got Best church ever. Well, it is a beautiful low key Sunday, so we're just going to drive around a bunch and just kind of see what there is to see around the island. We've only explored a small portion of it.
The landscape's so amazing and so different on this side of the island. Every one of the Hawaiian islands has an arid side and then a wet, rainy side that's very jungly and lush. This is the arid side of Kauai. Going back to the car. I was right there with him. Okay, we made it to the top of the mountain to the Waimea Canyon Lookout, which is like the Grand Canyon of Hawaii. We're not gonna go up to the top because they want like a $5 admissions fee and that's, we're, we're cheaping out. So that's, that's how we roll. Well, that was a lovely drive, but I think I'm gonna get changed and start cooking some dinner. guys we got fried fish and sesame and peanut oil we've got some white miso some Japanese curry some ramen noodles kind of a seared ceviche trigger fish and we have a little bit of chili water to dip our fish in who wants lemonade I do. I do. That chili water is good isn't it I really like fishing in Hawaii. The fish are so tasty and they're so well proportioned. But this is not our last fish meal of the trip. If I can have my way, we're gonna do a little spear fishing tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Come on, get up guys, get up, get up. We're going snorkeling, up and at him. This is gonna take a while, I better put the camera down. Oh, daddy's opening the red fruit. Breadfruit looks and tastes like a grapefruit on steroids. These things are huge. There's half of the breadfruit. Wow. You know, sailors used to die from a disease called scurvy. When you didn't have enough vitamin C, your blood would turn solid and your teeth would fall out. It was a horrible disease. And they found out by eating breadfruit, they could keep from dying of scurvy. It's good we're eating breadfruit because Nathan's got scurvy. He just lost a tooth. All right, we're at the Kiki Aola boat ramp and uh, we're gonna go find her charter. Good, it's man. got my weight belt in there. No, no the boat. Save All right, guys, we're here with Komahana Charters and we got Captain Koa here and we're doing it all today. We're gonna go up one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. We go along the Nepali coast. We're gonna see some amazing scenery. Then we're gonna go and do a little fishing and if we're lucky, we're gonna do a little snorkeling, maybe some spear fishing too. It's gonna be awesome. Barely got started, we've already seen like five sea turtles. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they're usually during uh, the summertime. We're just driving, hang out, look up in the water, sit around. 
Captain Koa says that in the summertime when it's calm, they'll go in there and actually swim around. That's really cool. There's a pot of dolphins up ahead. We're gonna go check it out. people camping underneath that gorgeous waterfall this is the Nepali Coast State Park and if you want to camp here you can it's like a $20 permit but it is an amazing place you can either do a very extreme hike or you can have a boat come in and drop you off one of the coolest things we didn't do on this trip Nepali Coast State Park. We've gone almost halfway around the island, but we're gonna head back and on our way back, we're gonna troll some lures and see if we can't catch some fish. All right, if I see anything hit it, you want me to just go run up and start cranking? Yeah, you can. Give it a crank. Oh, that's a little uku, right? You want like that? Yeah, yeah, we'll put them to good use. Good. Ukus are one of the best to eat in sashimi, right? Yeah, real good white meat. I get uku, but I would like you to the meat. Look at that, that's a gray snapper. It's a uku. Really delicious fish. This is one of the prime fish for spear fishermen. He does a little guy, but he's legal and he's tasty. Tell me, uku, you tasty. Yeah. <laughs> This is my kind of sightseeing right here. This scenery is amazing. Yes. Can I do it? Got yeah. this, Tom? Yep. We got him. Bring him right to me. There you go. Nice. There you go. Yeah. yeah there, Tom. Oh, I'm going to drop it. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah. Nice, Jack. I'm pretty sure it's safe. High five, Tom. Woo. Yeah. Oh, look at that water. Look at how clear that water is. You see that yellow? See that yellow one? I think he's the leader. As we are doing the smorgasbord trip today, we've done fishing, sightseeing, now we're doing some snorkeling and spear fishing.
You guys, did you have fun? Oh, yeah. yeah! What was the coolest thing you saw? Uh, turtles. Lots of yeah, turtles. Yeah, lots of turtles. A king cole that big. A king cole that big? Wow. <laughs> I shot a couple of these roy, which are an invasive fish here in Hawaii. So, also a tasty fish, apparently. Bo, they do carry cicatera from time to time. Well, this was absolutely gorgeous, but we're going to go down the coast a little bit to another spot, see what we can see there. Right here on this coastline. Okay. Cool. There's a crashed World War II fighter plane here. Yeah, it's flipped upside down with its landing wheels up. It looks awesome. blue parrot fish or uhu. I really wanted to shoot one of those. Should have had three menpachi and a teape, but the more eels decided otherwise. Oh. Tommy, was that so cool seeing that fighter plane upside down? Oh yeah. So fiercely independent. Guys, did you have fun? Yeah! That was such a cool charter. If you guys want to do this, go to Komahana Charters. I'll put their website down in the video description. Check them out. We're driving back home and we saw a pie place. We gotta do that. Hello. Oh my goodness. A homemade mango passion fruit pie. Place is called The Right Slice. There was about six other pies I really wanted to try. Oh, what is this? Mango passion fruit. Oh, yes. Wow. All right, guys, we're here at Mark's place. We're gonna get some dinner. All right, I got a yellowfin tuna burger here. Oh, it's kind of like a crab cake, only with yellowfin tuna. It's nice. A little bit of horseradish in there. You like your chicken teriyaki burger? <laughs> Chicken's watching us eat chicken. Well, I like this. It's got a, like a zip to it. It's good. So what do you guys think? Thumbs up for Mark's place? Yeah. Yeah, good. That was really good. We got some Korean chicken musubi here. All right guys, we're back at the house and I have a bunch of fish to clean, but I don't have a fillet knife, so this is gonna be interesting. All right, that's the uku. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get my deposit back. Okay. 
It's been a long day. I think we deserve some pie and mochi. It's one bit of mochi. That All right, this is the passion fruit mango pie here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's so good. It's pie crust and a croissant had a baby. Mm. Well, good morning. It is a beautiful day here in paradise and we're going to be making banana macadamia nut pancakes with a wide variety of tropical syrups. All oh, those smell amazing. Oh, oh there we go. Guava syrup, coconut syrup, lily koi or passion fruit syrup, kwai honey macadamia nut butter, and guava butter. It's a bomber. What's your favorite? Coconut. Coconut. I think everyone agrees the coconut's the best one. Guava's pretty good. It's a close second. Yeah. Well, me and Ian are gonna go run some errands. We are gonna go get Nathan a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. I had a little bit of a storm roll in last night and it's a little overcast and it's just a perfect day to take it easy. Everyone's a little bit spent because of all the charters we've been doing. But tonight, me and Becca have a pretty cool charter planned. We're really excited. All right, guys, we're at Hilo Hatties. If you want a Hawaiian shirt or Hawaiian souvenirs, this is kind of the uh, the local chain store that you can get it at. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I think that'll fit. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I like it. Uh, he's, he's so he's so soft. His butt comes open. He has big legs. He Mm. <laughs> I love him so much. Hi guys. Oh, is, what is that? Is it's that a, a, it's a chicken that my folds into a neck pillow. All right, let's go get some lunch. All right, guys, we're going to go to Pink's Creamery. We're going to try a Hawaiian grilled cheese sandwich, among other things. Who wants a chocolate milkshake? I do. I do. I do. It's like peanut brittle, yeah, but macadamia nut chocolate. brittle in a milkshake form. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so good. Is that a good, is that a good mango? Mm, it's actual fresh mango, too. Like, it's good. Oh, yeah, it actually tastes. That's, that's really good. That's really good. Oh, that smoky clove pork and that sweet pineapple, that's good. All right, Becca, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right, we're going on a scuba date. <laughs> we're going night diving. Last time I went night diving, my sister got covered in crabs. She screamed a lot. All right, guys, we are going to be doing a night dive. We're here at Kuloa Landing and we're going to go with Sea Sport Divers. And we're going to do two dives one right before the sunset and one after. Oh, What'd you think, Becca? That was great. <laughs> there was a lot of turtles a in lot there. Of turtles. 
Well, we spent about an hour in the water. Now we're taking a break, switching out air tanks for Becca, and we're gonna let the sun set, and then we're gonna go out at night, and we're gonna get a dive at the same spot and see what kind of critters come out at night. Anyhow, um, most of us are pretty on one arm. Alright guys, I managed a couple fish, got a nice little goat fish, a little squirrel fish. Oh, the squirrel fish taste like trout, and I've never eaten a goat fish, but I hear they are really good, especially if you steam them. Corbin, awesome. thank you so no much, problem. man. As always, if you want to do this too, we're going to put links to Sea Sport Divers in our video description below. Woo. Becca, was that fun? That was so fun. I thought it was going to be a lot scarier than it was. It was really yeah, comfortable. It was comfortable. I wasn't scared either. I, it was great. Let's go save oh. Melanie. <laughs> Let's go save Melanie from our children. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go. Well, good morning, guys. It's another day in paradise, and we are going to do a very Hawaiian breakfast. I think we're going to make spam and eggs. Here we go. Like, and you wash it. Because I was... you're a fan. All right, everybody. We got a little linky mui powder here. Ooh. I don't want Oh, mui. that stuff was good. Aji noti furikake, which is like little seaweed sprinkles that you put on rice. Oh, spicy. Oh, spicy. Right in front of Tommy's place. Can you say rice, please? You guys like breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's delicious. Well, we have a lovely low-key day today. We are just going to hang out on the beach, and I am going to work on a little project I brought along with me. I'm going to try to build a spear gun from scratch. Well, check it out. My spear gun's coming along quite nicely. We've been spending a couple hours on the beach and having a good time. But everyone's getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna go back to the house and make a little lunch. We're gonna make a Hawaiian dish that everyone in our family loves. All right, guys, we're gonna have chicken katsu and fried fish for lunch. And funny thing, chicken katsu is a Hawaiian twist of a Japanese dish, which is a Japanese twist on a European dish. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do this. She 
We got some chicken katsu, some uh, fried egg, some cabbage, rice. Oh, I was gonna make some fried fish too, but I am exhausted and we have a crazy amount of food. So we'll do that, we'll do fish for dinner. You guys like the chicken katsu? Yes, it's so good. It's so yummy. <laughs> that is the most delicious European, Japanese, Hawaiian fusion food out there. I love it. Now I got some food in me. We're gonna go back here and keep working on my spear gun. Well, I'm gonna try to finish this spear gun project today and then go take it uh, spearing and catch a fish, cook it up. And it's gonna be its own little video. So if you wanna see how I built it and all that, uh, check out the video description for a link to that video. Well, it took all day, but I did it. I built a spear gun from scratch. Another beautiful sunset on another beautiful day. It's nice to just take it easy today. Hang around the house and do work on a project. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, but it gave everyone a chance to slow down a little bit. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time to make some dinner and uh, I'm gonna cook up some fish. Got some pog, passion orange guava. Can you come over here? Oh. Yeah. All right, we got the Almaco Jack fried up. We got the goat fish, the squirrel fish. Uh, we got some uku sashimi. I'm we have some like sweet it. chili mayo sauce here, which is good with the uh, fried fish. But I'm gonna try the uku sashimi first. I, I like that. That that's yummy. Yeah, uku is supposed to be one of the best sashimis. So. That is. Really good. I hear steaming goat fish is the best way to do it, but I am really tired. <laughs> Went and fried them up, but I've never eaten goat fish, so I'm excited to try this one. It tastes okay, but the texture is kind of mushy. Yeah, it's a funky texture. I don't think I've ever had that with a fish before. <laughs> I wonder if with the steaming, it it maintains the texture a little bit better. Yeah, maybe. Well, guys, it is crazy late. The kids are already to bed. <laughs> And I am getting up very early tomorrow. <laughs> I will see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Kauai. We're going to go catch a fish and do some gyotaku. All right, guys, I'm here with Desmond Thane, who is not only a great spear fisherman, but a highly regarded gyotaku artist and if you guys don't know what gyotaku is it's a japanese art form involving printing fish onto rice paper is gyo means fish and taku means like to print on stone and it's kind of the traditional way of mounting your fish for japanese fishermen and uh this uh, desmond here is highly regarded here in the <laughs> islands as being really good at it so we're gonna go out and poke a fish and uh, do a little gyotaku. Yeah. All right. All right. But first, I gotta go squeeze all of this into a wetsuit. Yeah. yeah. So Desmond took his jet ski about 45 minutes up the coast and we found the spot and hopped in and Desmond kind of dove down to look around and I immediately noticed three things. One is that we were in 72 feet of water, which is deeper than I've ever dove before. Two, that Desmond is a much better spear fisherman than I am. And three, that I could hear whale songs. But there wasn't much to see down there, so we hopped back on the jet ski and Desmond had me drag him behind the jet ski and he acted as the fish finder. So Desmond gives me a signal, I jump off the jet ski and we're in 64 feet of water. It's the deepest I've ever dove. 
And the way it works, it takes me about 30 seconds to swim to the bottom, and then I've got to hide in a crack and try to get that big uku to get curious and come close enough to get a shot at. He wasn't close enough, but I took a crack at him anyways, and I was just thrilled to even see him and dive that deep, and I ended up being down for a minute 36 seconds. I saw the moo and I saw the uku. They were right. There's tons of them down there. I ended up scaring away the uku, but the big school of moo stuck around. I ended up diving about a half a dozen times onto this big school of moo. And each dive was over 60 feet and around a minute and a half. And uh, I got a couple shots, but they're all just too far away. And finally, I had one of my better dives. And I get down and I keep my cool. I got a nice bit of cover here. And I'm hiding behind this coral. And if you just sit still, they'll get curious. You can see them. They're kind of swimming over really casually. And you just kind of let them get closer. And boom, I get a spear into one. And then the spear pulls out. I needed to just lunge forward just a foot or two right before I shot. And I would have got the barb in proper. Desmond swam after it and tried to recover the fish. But uh, it didn't work out. However... He went and showed me how it's done. That guy can stay down for well over two minutes and he'll get down in these cracks and just hang out and he ended up shooting some big moves. Oh, this beautiful. absolutely gorgeous fish. Okay. I asked Desmond what was his like max depth that he could spearfish at and he told me like between 120 to 150 feet underwater. And after watching him all day, I believe it. Oh, he got another fabulous move. Eventually the school of Moo moved off so I towed Desmond behind the jet ski a little bit more and he tells me there's an octopus down here in 50 feet of water and he sees the tiny little bit of an octopus head sticking out of a crack in 50 feet of water and points to it. I dive down there and this is what he saw at 50 feet of water. So what you do is you go and you poke him with the tip of your spear and this gets them angry and they come out and start gripping onto your hand and the spear and then you got to wrestle them out of their hole it takes a lot of force i i spent quite a bit of time wrestling this thing out but once you get the octopus to the surface this is where things get weird the way you humanely euthanize an octopus is you bite it between the eyes with your teeth and if you're a rookie like me and don't know what you're doing the octopus starts sticking its tentacles up your nose and in your mouth and you get suction cups in weird places it, it gets weird but i caught my first octopus and i bit him These are nice fish, man. Look at this. And, and look at the crazy teeth on them. But these are very good eating fish. Everyone likes moo. And there's my octopus. All right, so Desmond's gonna do some gyotaku on my octopus. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with him. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna go ahead and print this thing and make a gyotaku art print from it. It's gonna be pretty cool. Hey Desmond, thank you so much for taking me. That was an absolute blast. I had so much fun. Were you hungry? Yeah, let's go get some uh, Ishiata Market. We're headed uh, a little bit further down the way, get some poke bowls. All right, let's do it. No. Here, we'll try this too. Oh, uh, Linghimui pineapple. Awesome. All right, guys, we're going to try some poke. Okay, raw fish. Thank you. This is the tsunami poke, raw fish, a little bit of Hawaiian seaweed, mayonnaise, a little bit uh, tobiko, which is the flying fish eggs, some sesame oil, and then they put uh, just a little bit of brown sugar in there. Oh. All right, thanks, Desmond. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, that poke was so good, but I am exhausted. I'm going to head home, and me and Desmond, we're going to meet up early tomorrow. And we're going to do the gyotaku and we're going to make some art out of those fish. Hi. Hi, baby. Mwah. Love you. Oh, are you painting? I am painting. Nice. My professional author sister is working on her new novel. If you like Victorian era romance, check out M.A. Nichols. What, what? Time to go clean some moo. And then, and then another half. Let's see. Not too bad for the first time ever filleting a moo using a kitchen knife I found at a rental house. 
Well, it is an absolutely gorgeous day, and it is good to be back with the family and hanging out with the boys on the beach. Are you having a good day, babe? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you're back, though. I am glad to be back. Oh, today is Nathan's birthday! Yay! Yay! Seven, seven years old! Seven. Oh, there we go, guys. The Hawaiian breakfast of champions. So good. But yes, you're then Nathan is just gonna... Well, I gotta meet up with Desmond this morning, and we're gonna do a Gyotaku print of the octopus we caught yesterday. After that, I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna celebrate Nathan's birthday! Yay! Yay! Well, I love you guys, and I will be back in just a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back here with Desmond, and uh, we're going to be doing some fish printing, or gyotaku. We're just petting some chickens in the meantime. You know, that's what we do. All right, you want that. Okay. You want some... <laughs> So a lot of people from around the islands will send frozen fish to Desmond here. He run over to the airport, pick them up, and here's somebody's frozen mahi-mahi that they caught, and uh, they shipped it to him, and he's getting it all prepped and going to print it. I don't really have to worry about the scales flaking up or anything. A little bit. But okay. okay. He's making this look easy, but let me tell you, it is not. They're taking a flat piece of paper and putting it onto a 3D object. And that, how you do that is going to dramatically change the image. Getting the fin, that's the attention to detail right there. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. That is gorgeous. That is so cool. I'll tell you, there is a lot of technique and skill that went into that. After you finish the printing, the fish is still good to eat. So we just clean it up and there you go. If you leave a little ink on there, it's not bad, but you want to get most of the ink off. Talk to you into something. Look at that. There it is. Look at that beauty. What we're going to do is kind of create like this motion, like it's in the water. You never want like a right angle like that because it just doesn't look normal. You can kind of see the webbing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that really makes it look special. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know a couple. And just slowly drop it right there. Into and right. So I did. Slow, slow. Get it out of the light so that way you can see. There you go, my first Hawaiian octopus. That is so cool. You. Thank you. That was so cool. I, listen, if you guys want to learn more about this or if you want to purchase some of his art, check out Desmond Thane's website. I'll put a link in the video description below. He also has an Instagram account. I'll put links to that down in there. And uh, he's going to take the uh, taco and he's going to do some finishing details on it. And I'm going to pick it up a little bit later. But thanks, man. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. All right, guys. Me and my octopus, we're back at the rental house. It's you nice made out with that. There you go. All right, guys, should we go check out the lighthouse? Yeah. We're gonna go do something I promised Becca we would do at the beginning of this trip. We're gonna go to the Kilauea Lighthouse. All right, hop on out. Light, my wife likes lighthouses and fairies. It's her jam. There's a coconut crab on your leg. Pinch, 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 pinch. Dad, I'm stabbing the coconut crab. I took a picture from this one. We wanted to go to the beach, but the waves are pretty crazy today. But we found this sheltered little cove with some really mellow waves. This is going to be great. It's a hot day today, so the water feels pretty good. And we've got this nice little beach here. The kids are gonna play, and I'm gonna see if I can't shoot a fish with that spear gun I just made. Here it comes, Jake, watch out! Oh. I got the I can, I can. You okay, Nate? I can't. 
I'm okay, no one who got into my nose. Was that was that an awesome place to swim? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But I think we should go home and get some birthday cake and uh, some barbecue chicken. Has it been a good birthday, Nathan? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I am hungry. All right, for dinner we're gonna have char siu chicken, macaroni salad, potato chips. We've got poi for dessert. We've got linghi mui pineapple. And I'm gonna cook up some of those mou fillets and I'm gonna use uh, Chinese black sauce. It's gonna be really simple and easy, very Hawaiian. We've got Hawaiian style chashu chicken. We've got Hawaiian potato chips, potato salad. We got rice. And for the seafood lovers, we got we got black bean sauce and baked moo. How was the fish? Oh, so good. Oh, uh, you want some more? Absolutely. Becca, you liking that chashu chicken? It's really good. Do you wish you had some fish? A little bit, please. That fish is pretty easy to make. I'm gonna throw some more in the oven. Uh, the emergency. Here's a cake for me. Happy birthday, dear Nathan! Uh, oh, look at the candles! Oh, 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 you were so fast! Wait, wait, what is that? That's what I wanted! What'd you get? A jungle glass. Drawer. We all scream, we all scream! Well, good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday here, and Melanie's watching the kids, and me and Becca are gonna go snorkeling. Snorkel day. Well, me and Becca are here at Tunnels Beach on the northeast part of the island, and we wanted to go and snorkel through some underwater caves and stuff that are right over there. But uh, we got uh, a little bit of big surf over there and there's a couple signs warning people not to get in the water. So yeah, not going to happen today. But there's a cave across the parking lot. So we're going to go check yeah. that out. Yeah. Look at these vines. Those are crazy. There's probably some enormous spiders in here that are going to fall on our faces. This goes really far back. Further further back. It's getting to the point where I'm having to hunch over, but this cave still goes further back. This thing's huge. I'm almost down on all fours, so I think it's time to head back. <laughs> well, we got a babysitter, so we're not going home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive as far down the road as we can to the end of the island and see what happens. of the road it's Hyena State Park which is a really popular place to go hiking and I can see why it's absolutely gorgeous scenery but uh, apparently they're all booked up you got to make reservations online and they're absolutely booked so we're gonna just head back well Melanie's writing and working on her books and the boys are playing in the house contently so me and Becca are gonna do a little snorkeling just right here in the beach in front of the rental property I'm gonna see if I can't get a fish with my homemade spear gun
cool. That was better snorkeling than I expected. We're back at the house and uh, we're going to cook up some lao lao pork and we're going to cook up those fish that I shot. And I've got an octopus to deep fry. We got quite the spread here. We got the four little fish I shot with my homemade spear gun. We got panko fried octopus from the one I caught the other day. We've got ling hee mui pineapple, some macaroni salad, some black bean sauce, sweet chili sauce. We got chili ponzu. Oh, we got lao lao pork over there, potato chips, rice, and there's some curry in there. Octopus! <laughs> Do you want a little octopus, Jake? Yeah. Anyone want ling himui pineapple? Sure. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try the poi. If you don't know, poi is fermented taro root. And this is like poi mixed with coconut milk and brown sugar. It's gonna be interesting. This has a fun texture. Oh, it's got a nice smell to it. A little bit of a molasses smell. Try that. <laughs> it's stuck to my mouth. Let's <laughs> you with your mouth closed. If you like that, okay. I like it. It's not a strong flavor. If you like the flavor of molasses, I think you like this, but it's really subtle. Hey, Dad. Hiya, buddy. All right, you guys want to go get some shave ice? Yeah! Yeah, let's go get a shave ice. It is a beautiful day. All right, guys, we're going to get a JoJo shave ice here. They're all over the island. Get a little chain place. Guava lily koi mango is a tropical breed. Okay, we'll come back for those two real quick. We'll be right back. These things are huge. Take a little, little tax, right? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Nope. Hawaiian shave ice is so much better than snow cones. It's like smooth. And it has ice cream. Ice cream in it. Oh. Okay. Hey, guys. I think, let's see this. Okay. We'll be right back. Both hands, buddy. Hey, Nathan. You got some, uh, some of the blue on your face. <laughs> All right, guys, it's late. We're heading back to the rental property, so we're gonna stop at LNL Hawaiian Barbecue and pick up some uh, Hawaiian to go food. Get some chicken katsu, eels on rice. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is the eel on rice, chicken kots. The cheeseburger. There's the ramen. There's the ramen. You have to eat what you order, sweetie. I want to do that. I want Oh guys, I have got a full belly and it's late. I gotta get to bed, but tomorrow is our last day in Kauai. We've got a lot of awesome stuff we wanna see. So we gotta get to bed. I'll see you in the morning. No, oh, we've got a lot of packing and cleaning to do. Uh, then we're gonna go drive around, see a little bit more of the island before we have to leave. We're getting packed and I had to buy an extra piece of luggage to fit all the snacks and treats we're bringing back for friends and family. Tons of ling hee mui strawberry and mango. We've got kawaii cookies, macadamia nuts, chocolates, guava butter, a couple pounds of ling hee mui powder. I feel like a drug smuggler. Look at all this stuff. All right guys, we're mostly packed and I have one more thing I need to shove in our bags. A frozen uhu. And a couple of moo fillets. I'm gonna put those all in the pant leg of my, my wetsuit. Then we're gonna take the pants and shove it in the top. And then we're gonna zip that up and take it home. Really, the only part you have to worry about is before you get on the plane. Once you get on the plane, the baggage compartment isn't heated and gets really cold in there, so you'll be good. So as long as it doesn't melt before we get on the plane, we'll be golden. Well, it's a beautiful Sunday. We're all checked out of the house. So uh, we're going to go to church and then drive around the island a little bit. You guys ready? Yeah! Yeah! I'm not entirely convinced it didn't have any. Church was a success and uh, we all changed out of our church clothes in the bathroom. And uh -huh. should we go see a waterfall or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go do it. There's a kapu, a sacred historic site up ahead. We're going to pull over. 11, 12, 13. I think there's over 30 chickens here in this one patch of grass. 
apparently this is the site of the Paliahu Heahu Temple that overlooked the river there. So. We, oh, we got a waterfall. Ooh. If you guys have not step on my back. That looks way cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's basically the same, but... <laughs> I do not feel bad for you. It's baby chickens. If it was a really rainy day, the waterfall would be insane. You want to play the chicken game again? Yes. Left side versus right side. Oh, is that the same that's one? That's one. Oh, that's one. Yeah, that's one. There's three more. That's I six, no, seven, five. Scenery. Dated. Ocean chickens. <laughs> All right, guys, we're driving through Poipu Beach, which is a lot more developed and touristy than the places we've been mostly on this trip. But, you know, if you like this sort of thing, there's some great uh, beaches here. They're just a lot more crowded. But the waves can be pretty rough on this side of the island in the wintertime, and there's a couple of sheltered beaches that are great for kids and for getting out even when the surf's high. So it makes them quite popular. Wait, how many chickens do you guys got? 113. 113? Dang, I'm getting rocked. Oh look, he's crossing onto our side. Nope, it's your he's side. He's ours, he's ours, on, he's on our side now. These chickens weren't here when we drove by a few seconds. 150! Oh. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're at Hamura Samin in Lihui. I'm gonna get some dinner here. Oh look at this. Yeah, utensils, chopsticks in there? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Some sort shrimp. of shrimp that nice. somebody Melanie. else fed me. That's good. Okay, this it. looks like, oh, this is some sort of soup. Who got soup? Yeah, uh, you did. You did. You have three meat sticks. Okay, oh. Can I have a meat stick? No. Yes. This is just a straight normal samin, which is kind of like ramen. Fish cake and spam and some onions. Mmm. Ooh, there's good. some sort of dumpling. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Oh, I like yours. Yours is really good. Oh, it is really good. Slide you, you guys like the meat sticks and the fried wontons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> this place is famous for their pie, so she's gonna try to chiffon pie. Just pinch off a big piece. Is that fabulous? Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is. It's so good. Oh, I got, okay. I gotta try this. Oh my goodness. That's good. Can I have some? Whoa. It's like a custard and meringue mix. It might be mango. Is that mango? Oh, that's thought, really I good. Said Never had a pie like that. No, that is so good. There we go. And then get it's one of the cheaper dinners you can get here on the island. As always, we're going to put links to all these different restaurants and charters in the video description. So if you're on Kauai, you can do this too. Fun. That was so fun. Did you guys enjoy Hawaii? Yeah. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have done a lot of travel and adventure videos all over the world and over the US. If you guys want to see more of our travel adventures, check out our travel and adventure playlist. I'll put a link in the video description below. And thanks for watching. We put out new videos every Saturday morning, so don't forget to click All right, see you guys next Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. 
And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.